Daisy from the Super Mario series gets her own Amiibo figure. Hey Nintendo fans and collectors, Daisy was released on November the 4th, 2016, just a few days ago. I will be unboxing her today, but tomorrow I'm unboxing Rosalina, who was released the same day as Daisy. I already unboxed Waluigi, which you can see here is one of the taller Amiibo figures, and Boo, which was cool for Halloween, that glows in the dark. If you want to check out those, they are already on my channel. Rosalina is coming tomorrow, as I said. Now to get to Daisy, she is a princess that not a lot of people know the history behind her background. So essentially she was first in this game right here, Super Mario Land from the 1980s on the original Game Boy. She was the princess in this game, the princess of Sarasaland, I hope I'm pronouncing that correctly. If I'm not, please let me know as a comment below, how do you pronounce that land? I'm not even 100% positive. If you quickly look at the manual for that game, which I happen to have here, it does say that she's the princess that was kidnapped. It also says on page 13, She's called Daisy Princess, I want to say right here. She looks remarkably similar to Princess Peach. Daisy is being held captive by the game's antagonist, Tatanga. Mario must rescue her. Tatanga is another name that I might mispronounce. I apologize if I do. If you know the pronunciations, comment below. So that's a little bit of history for this character, Daisy. Not a lot of people know about her. So she is not in Super Smash Brothers. Interesting, she could be maybe at some point, but right now she is not. Rosalina is probably a better pick. If you're a huge fan of Daisy, let me know. I don't know that many people who are really interested in her, but she is a pretty tall, detailed figure, so I'm going to open this one up. So the box packaging looks pretty good. On the back, this is for Mario Party Star Rush. Daisy will appear with an item inside that game when you scan her in. I think she will also work with other games, perhaps Mario Tennis Ultra Smash? I can't remember if she's actually in that game or not. So I do have my X-Acto knife here, just going to cut around as I always do. Now, Daisy was used in subsequent games for Nintendo, especially in multiplayer releases, when they wanted to get more human characters. So one of the major games where this came back up was Mario Tennis on the Nintendo 64. I do have that box here actually to show off a little bit as well in a moment. And Daisy was a humanoid character, of course, and that's what they were looking for when they started making that game, when Camelot started to make that game. But first of all, let's just take a look at the figurine itself. I kind of cut up that box a little bit, trying to keep it in pretty good condition. I'm going to keep that over there, though. Daisy is quite large as an amiibo figure. All right, so let's take a close look at Princess Daisy. I don't even know if she keeps the princess title. She's just kind of going by Daisy now a days at some point. All right, so she, she does have this kind of seafoam green pendant and earrings. It's also on her crown, which looks pretty detailed. Her eyes are that same green color, so at least they have the detail in there. She covers the entire base because of her dress going down, which I guess makes sense. Her dress is yellow slash orange. Majority of it is orange, of course. She does have white detailed gloves and also on her sleeves, I guess, of her dress. Her hair is kind of stylized as well, which there is some detail work with this. This is a pretty detailed amiibo figure, of course, it's just like a toy. The base is red, but you can't even tell it's the checkerboard pattern, as I said. To give you an idea about the height of this one, it is one of the taller figures. Let's just take a look. She is nearly four inches high for anyone in the United States. In Canada and the rest of the world, she is nearly 10 centimeters tall probably something like 97 millimeters tall if you're interested in height. If you do want me to give a comparison to Waluigi, they're nearly the same height essentially, and Boo is quite a bit shorter of course if you were interested in looking at those. Now for anyone who is interested in Daisy as a character, this is one of the only pieces of memorabilia for Nintendo that's official that you can get for her as a figurine. I don't think she's out in the world of Nintendo line yet at all, I'm just looking at my figures. So this one, at the price, you probably want to wait for it to go on sale. I do think these will go on sale, or you can at least buy two, get one free sometimes at certain locations. Personally, though, this is a pretty well-done amiibo. It looks like a good toy for a lot of different people. It kind of suits the Super Mario style that I think a lot of people would want with this amiibo figure. So I, this is probably really well done. If you're a fan of Daisy, you're probably going to be really happy with this. Probably give it a 10 out of 10 if you're a Daisy fan. Otherwise, maybe it's something that you don't need to pick up unless you're a completionist like me and are going after all of the Amiibo figures. Again, I just want to mention that she is available in Mario Tennis, and she dates all the way back to the original game, Super Mario Land on the Game Boy Color, all the way back from 1989 in North America. Please let me know as a comment below, what are your thoughts on the Daisy Amiibo? Do you think it's worth picking up? Are you going after every single Amiibo? If so, will you wait for this one to go on sale, or will you buy it soon, or do you already have it in your collection? Thank you so much for watching. Feel free to fill that like bucket, follow me on all the social media links in the description below the video, and remember, as always, go collect them all and keep smiling while gaming. Thanks for watching.